If it scares you, that means you should do it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is late January, which means it's time for us to talk about 20 time 2019. So 20 time, if you know from my blog or here on the channel, is a project-based learning experience that I use every spring semester where we devote 20% of our class time for everyone to pursue a passion project. Um, if you've never heard of this, it's similar to Genius Hour or 20% Project, uh, pause this video, go down to those link, there's a link down there for you to learn all about what 20 time is and how it runs. One critical piece of 20 time is that the teacher also does a project. And so today's video is my reveal of what my project's going to be. And basically it is to become a better teacher of creative writing. It is a huge Achilles heel in my teaching repertoire and something that has bothered me um, that I've just kind of sidestepped um, a lot of those experiences for my students instead of fully embracing them. So over the past, I'd say two months, I've had some interesting things happen at the same time. One of them was two high school kids that I know, um, that I know from outside of work, um, asked me to lead a writing group for them and their friends. And although I was tempted, I definitely felt out of my depth because I've never done anything like that. And I'm not a creative writer. I'm not a novelist. I don't write fiction or anything like that. So I was like, I actually, I, I kind of stalled. I didn't say no. I just said, um, you know, I kind of delayed a little bit. Um, and I felt bad about it because they're really good kids and I thought they could really grow but I just felt a little weird about it because I don't know what expertise I can offer. So partly that happened. And then I was at lunch with some coworkers and I found out that Irene, one of our librarians, is actually in the midst of writing a romance novel. And another gal I work with, Anne, who is an educational specialist, she's written a children's book. Um, and then Lee, who was across the table, she's like, yeah, I want to write too. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get us together. So there was sort of this like weird convergence happening that made me feel like maybe this is something I should pay better attention to. So me and creative writing, hmm. um, I, like I said, I do the bare minimum with my kids. Basically the common core requires argument, informational or explanatory texts um, and narrative. Um, I just use personal narrative for like one assignment and then I check that box and we move on. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why. One, I don't feel equipped to teach them like the elements of good fiction writing because I don't create good fiction writing. So I felt like a little bit of a, I don't know, a fraud uh, teaching those skills. Um, another one is I have no idea how to grade fiction. I always feel weird about it and I can't come up with a rubric that I like. And it's just, you know, it's like grading art. So I had like 15 years ago, a student named Graham and he had done the personal narrative assignment that I do with freshmen. And I remember he wrote this like 14 page memoir about his dad who had just died in the previous year. And as I'm reading this like really heartfelt story of his dad's heart attack, um, I'm like correcting commas and, and comma splices. And it was just wrong. <laughs> it was just wrong. And so I felt like I kind of backed away from it because <sighs> to teach 34 kids in one classroom how to become great novelists, it seems beyond my capabilities. And I never had any good tools to evaluate them. So I just sort of like set that aside. Um, and, and, the, and then the last reason is I feel like if I open the door to that creative writing assignment or even teach that elective, um, it, it's thorny because the kids will write about really personal things. And then sometimes you've like opened up Pandora's box and like some of the really like, even if it's fiction, if it gets too dark or heavy or disturbing, then I'm like, hmm, do I need to call their parents? Cause you know, she's 16 or do I need to like call the counseling office? Cause this kid's narrative work is disturbing. So I've always just kind of felt weird about it. So I just sort of like, whoop, I just step over there because I feel more comfortable with argument writing and, you know, informational text. Um, so, it, it's not serving my students well, and, and I know that. And so I think this is the, this is the semester where I, I figure out how to do it. So this also comes from like my heart because 20 time, 
it has to be something that you really want to do. And that's one of the glitches. Like when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do this spring, 20 time, there's like these projects that I know I should do. Like I should build a unit for Macbeth because that's the A number one that everyone keeps asking me for, you know. We liked your Julius Caesar or your Romeo, could you do one for Macbeth? And I swear y'all, I have tried, I've tried. I've sat down like four different times. I cannot get through act one. I've never taught Macbeth. And I, and I only read it once like all the way through when I was a senior in high school. So it's been a long time. Um, so I should create a Macbeth unit or I should create the English 11, 12 full year experience that I created for English 9, 10 last year. And that was awesome. And I'm so happy I did that last year, but I don't have the juice. I just don't have the, the mm, to do that this year. But creative writing feels really fun to me. And that feels like a good way to spend my time. So. The lesson there is I've learned good 20 time projects for me, for colleagues that I've talked to online um, and for students that I know, the, the projects that work are the projects that are really like heartfelt by the owner. So this one feels good to me and for a variety of reasons that I'll talk about in just a second. So I, I've always thought of myself as a writer. Um, oh, oh, I have <laughs> this is the San Antonito Sun. I don't know if that's even picking up. Um, this is the last remaining copy, there you are, um, of a newspaper that I wrote in third grade. So in third grade, my sister advanced to the middle school. And when she did that, she was in sixth grade and she brought home the middle school school newspaper. And I just thought it was like the best thing I had ever seen in my whole life. So the next school day, I went to my principal at the elementary school and said, why don't we have a school newspaper? And he said, well, Laura, because nobody has an interest, but if you want to, and he patted me on the head, you go right ahead. And I did. <laughs> so I wrote, uh, the, I wrote every article. I interviewed my friends. I have a crossword puzzle in here. I have knock-knock jokes. Um, my dad did the artwork. Oh, we had San Antonito Elementary uh, in Tijeras, New Mexico. Uh, and so I remember he got a glass and he drew the circle with like a drinking glass and then he drew these flames. I just thought it was like the coolest thing ever. And then I was published. Oh, I, 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 I typed it and I took it to the principal and then he like had a mimeographed off. This is back when we did the purple mimeographed drums. Um, and I was a published writer and then all the kids like read my stories and I just thought that that was awesome. So that planted the seed for my career in journalism. So I was a newspaper reporter um, while well, I was in my, in my high school, in my college, um, professionally for a few years before I switched gears to become a teacher. So I think of myself as a writer, but not a creative writer. And, and so I want to, I want to add that in. Like, I think I can write, I have a blog for crying out loud. Um, but can I tell stories? Uh, I don't know. So that's a scary thing for me, which means it's good for me. Doing things that are scary are awesome. Okay, so, oh, I have my list here of things to remember to talk, tell you guys here. Okay, so why this project? Um, 20 time for me is about, or it has become about changing the way I think about myself, whether it's, I always thought I was not musical, I couldn't carry a tune, but now I can play the ukulele. Or I always thought of myself as weak and kind of clumsy, but now I can do a pull up or actually a chin up, not a pull up. Those are two different things I learned that year. Um, doing difficult things is awesome. And so this hopefully will change the way I think about myself and my skills. It'll help me dig into the fundamentals of good writing. I think I can't be a good teacher of writing, of fiction writing, without knowing the mechanics of it. So that's gonna be a goal for me. Um, my third reason is that this is an opportunity to build community. When I was at lunch with Irene and Anne and Lee that day, I just, I, I found kindred spirits and I've been in Idaho almost three years now and it's taken some time. It's hard to make friends as a grown up when you move someplace new. It's just hard to find your people, but I think I'm finally, I'm finding my people and I wanna encourage that. So um, that's gonna talk about a writer's group that I'm putting together with those guys. Um, I wanna create tools. Another reason is I wanna create tools to use with my students. Um, and then the last one is, it just sounds like fun. It just, it sounds terrifying, but it also sounds like fun. And so I think 20 times should be fun at some level. Um, so the plan, here's my plan. Okay. I'm going to, first up, I'm going to reread a favorite book. Um, this is Stephen King's, um, it's part memoir, part writing manual. Um, I read it, gosh, I want to say like 
10 years ago, like it's been a while. So I picked up a new copy on, uh, for Christmas. I bought myself, someone gave me a Barnes and Noble gift card. Thanks. Uh, and I went and bought myself a copy. So I'm going to reread this and take copious notes and maybe find some mentor sentences and that kind of stuff. I'm number two plan is I'm actually going to take a writing class. Um, just as I was thinking about this in the mail comes a pamphlet for a bunch of different classes that are happening around the, uh, the Treasure Valley uh, here in Idaho. And there is a writing class and it's gonna meet for eight times and I'm gonna be the student. And it's led by a professional writer and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna be on the other side of the desk for eight sessions. Um, and then in my writing group that I mentioned is gonna involve um, Anne, Irene, Lee, and me. And we're going to meet, um, and they've already agreed. <laughs> uh, we're gonna meet six times over the next 12 weeks as we work on creating something. So my goal, the, the thing that I'm gonna build for 20 time is gonna be some kind of fiction style piece of writing. So it might be a short story, it might be um, personal essay, like memoir style, it might be a chapter of a memoir book. Um, I, I'm tempted, I mean, I kinda wanna do pure fiction, but I know myself, like I love memoir, like Glass Castle or um, Trevor Noah's uh, Born a Crime, one of the best books I read last year. I love that genre, that narrative nonfiction thing. So I'm feeling like that might be the direction I go, but I don't know. Um, maybe I maybe I get inspired by all of this like fuel that I'm gonna give myself and I write the great American novel. Settle down. Maybe I write the great American short story. Or write, maybe I write a mediocre American short story. I don't know, but that's what my plan is. So stay tuned, follow along with me. Hey, leave me a comment. Are you doing 20 time? Also, what is your teacher project? Even if you're not ready to bring this to your classes, because it is scary to let go of control. I get it. What would you personally want to accomplish in the next 12 weeks? Because you can do it for for you. It, it, it's great with your students and I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, but it's also for the teachers to grow. So that's it for me this time. I'll check in uh, and give you progress reports along the way. I hope you're well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.